Yo guys, how's it going? My name is Diamond Ultra and welcome to another Dying Light 2 video. Before we get into this video, I just want to say a huge thank you to all 10,000 of you. We recently hit 10,000 subscribers and honestly it is a huge milestone for me. I'm very thankful, I'm honestly surprised I've even gotten here. My first ever video was like, I think 8 years ago. And I tried taking it seriously but, you know, didn't really get far. And then recently started doing this as like a hobby and started picking up some traction, so... I just want to say thank you guys so much. And as a celebration, I'm starting off a new series, which is the tips and tricks video for Dying Light 2. Now I know this game is, you know, a little old. I think it's like, honestly, I think it's two years old now. But the unique thing about this is that, you know, a lot has changed. Even like, you know, nowadays, there are a lot of changes to this game. There's still new players coming in. And for those who are coming in, I think you'll find this video very helpful. And if you're a veteran also, I think you'll learn something new, so. If you do, be sure to leave a like and comment down below any tips and tricks that you might know. And if you've, you know, never heard of one of these. And for this first tips and tricks video, I, I'll probably set a little like goal. Let's set a little like goal. Let's go for 500 likes. If we can get 500 likes, I'd really appreciate it. But yeah, let's get into the first one. Now, I'm sure we can all agree that loot is very important in this game. Like, looting can be very tedious and time consuming. And to save you guys some time, here's a quick tip for you. Around Villador, like the entirety of Villador, there are these GRE containers that have loot in them. Now the first one you'll most likely spot is after you've gotten the first windmill. Like right when you get this windmill and you head on down, you can find a GRE container. And if you open it, you'll usually get a, an artifact weapon, but I'm not really sure for new players. But either way, you'll get an amazing weapon, an immunity booster, which is full and will be very useful for new players, as well as veteran players. A military med kit, which is pretty hard to come by at the beginning of the game. And also some crates that you can lockpick and get some good gear. So you pretty much never have to buy any weapons or gear from the store. Though I would recommend that you get some crafting materials from the stores. You can find these all over Villador. Another one would be by the canteen, right down here. And another one would be by the VNC tower, like right in front of the door where you can go to the BKs. Now another looting area would be the Sunken City airdrops. So right when you get into the second part of the map, to the central loop, I recommend heading down south and to this little ocean area and getting the airdrops while they're underwater. Now you could, you know, wait till the end of the game and then lower the bulkheads and then collect them, but that's a little more tedious. You'll have a lot of exploding infected bothering you, so I personally recommend doing it this way. And if you're worried about infected, you know, during the night, there's this night runner hangout or hideout, whatever they're called. So you don't have to worry about that. You can use this map to find the airdrops as well as the inhibitors to make it a little more easier on you. Now, one thing I do recommend is having enough stamina because you will be going underwater to lockpick. And with that, you would also need a lot of lockpicks because some of these are very hard, very hard level lockpicks. But they also have level 9 gear. Regardless of what your level is, there's level 9 gear in these containers. Obviously not all of them, some of them have regular gear, but a few of these have level 9, and you'll also get a lot of great weapons, grenades, mines, UV bars, and a whole lot of stuff. So overall, I recommend doing this as soon as you get to this part of the map. Now moving on to the second tip, the main issue that a lot of players will face is the lack of scrap that you can collect. Now the cool thing early on in the game is that you can actually find three stores next to each other that'll sell you scrap and you can continue buying from them over and over and over again. Now in order to get the three stores, or I should say the third store because two of them are already there, you'll have to complete the balls in your court side mission that Dodger will offer you. Once you complete that, the store next to him will be open and you'll be able to buy scrap from him. Now the first thing you need to know about this trick is that you should probably have this on easy because on easy they'll sell you more stuff and also it'll be cheaper. Now the trick to this is that you can head on out outside the door and then head on back in and buy again and again. Now if you're going from the side entrance, all you'll have to do is just put your foot out the door and then walk back in and it'll restart. But if you're going from the main entrance, you'll have to run out a little bit before you can, you know, reset the stores. So yeah, you can do this for like maybe a couple hours and then you'll pretty much have full scrap. And you'll never have to worry about this again. So I do recommend ha saving a lot of money so you can actually do this because it will save you a lot of time in the long run. Scrap is pretty much used for everything. Now this next trick will help you 
maneuver through Villador much easier and faster. I'm going to be showing you guys two tricks that a lot of people use that help them complete trials and missions a whole lot easier. The first one will be the slide jump. And to do this one, you'll need two parkour skills. First one being the slide skill, obviously. And then the second one is right next to it called the slide jump. Now this one is pretty simple. All you got to do if you're on console is to run forward, slide, and then press R1 if you're on PS5. And you'll do this little far jump that can help you clear gaps that you usually wouldn't be able to clear. This is also a whole lot faster than sprinting and can help you complete trials a whole lot easier. It can also help you with your speed overall. Like doing this is so much faster than running. So if you use the simple trick, you'll pretty much get through the game a whole lot quicker. Now the second trick will be with the paraglider. Now when you have it fully upgraded, you can thrust up into the air and gain height. But if you press the attack button, you'll kick forward. Now if you've got a lot of height and you can like take a fall, then you know that's perfectly fine. I would not recommend doing this close to the ground because you might get yourself killed. But what I usually do is get some height, thrust up into the air, gain more height, and then kick forward, pull my paraglider again, and do this trick again and again. This way I can get closer to my destination a whole lot faster. This can also help you with your trials or any other missions you're trying to do. Now this kick animation, you can actually do this while swinging from rope. While swinging on a rope, just kick forward and you'll pretty much, you know, gain more momentum, move forward faster, and if you've got a bunch of them in front of you, you can pretty much get through them a whole lot quicker than just pressing R1 and jumping. So yeah, these are useful tips for you to know whether you're a beginner or a veteran. Now this next step might actually surprise veteran players. As you may know, if you go to your skills and you look at like almost the top right of your screen, you'll see a difficulty bonus. Now a lot of you know if you increase the difficulty of the game, this bonus goes up. But what many of you may not know is that every time you do a new game plus, this bonus goes up. Now if you're measuring it from, you know, the hard difficulty, it'll go up by 0.4% every time you complete a new game plus. And eventually, it'll cap at 4.25. So you pretty much have to do this until you get to 4.25 on hard. You can do the new game pluses on easy and then switch to hard and this is what it'll be. But on nightmare, it is 10.25, meaning you'll be getting 10 times the amount of XP you'd usually get. And this is great considering how there is a level 300 on legend points. So if you want a quicker way to level up, this is the way to do it. This also gives you another reason to replay the game and do different choices, make different choices, look at different outcomes, different cutscenes, and do different missions. So overall, you'll pretty much be having a blast doing this. Now with my experience, this usually takes me about two days, maybe less if I'm, you know, putting in more hours. Let's say maybe two hours a day. You can get a new game plus in two days, but if you're playing more, then you'll probably get it quicker. Now lastly, I'm going to be showing you guys how to rank up extremely quickly. Now, as some of you may know, there are these trials you can do. They're pretty simple. You run around, do some stuff, get through checkpoints, and then by the end of it, you'll be rewarded with points. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys how to utilize these things because you can actually get a whole lot more XP from these, not just from what you've seen on screen. Now, the first step I want to tell you is that doing a New Game Plus, you can, you know, go through these through every New Game Plus to get the most out of them. Because you can only do these once. Like once you get the maximum reward, you cannot replay it and then, you know, grind this over and over again. Now, thankfully, there are a lot, but every new game plus, these restart so you can do them again. So I recommend doing these every time you're doing a new game plus so you can rank up. Now, firstly, you want to do these on nightmare mode because when you switch to nightmare, the XP is a whole lot more. And then the second tip is to do these at night because at nighttime, they give you way more XP. And then lastly, you should have a devil XP booster. Now, if you want to get one, you can head over to Jay, the arms dealer, do a mission or two, and then buy one. And once you've done that, you can head over to these trials and do them, and you'll get a ton of XP. Like, if you've done all the new game pluses, and you do this challenge, you can be level 200 and still, like, get a whole rank from doing just one of these. Now, some tips for doing these trials. I firstly recommend wearing ranger gear. But not just any ranger gear. Wear ranger gear that has reduced stamina cost. For parkour. Using a paraglider counts as parkour stamina, so if you have ranger gear with stamina reduced for parkour moves, you can use your paraglider a whole lot longer, which will help you complete these trials faster. Like right here I have a 40% reduction on parkour stamina, and I'm able to glide a whole lot longer, and when you're on nightmare mode, stamina drains quite quickly. And I also recommend having the paraglider and the grappling hook both upgraded fully. And my last tip for doing these is to have a stamina booster. This will help you out a lot especially if you're doing these on Nightmare. 
But yeah, that's it for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And once again, thank you for 10,000 subscribers. You guys have no idea how grateful I am and how motivated I am to make more videos because of it. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I like to